Thailand's so-called Tiger Temple might be controversial, but it's more popular than ever. We're going to take the bravest and most expendable person, sit them down on the ground and put a 400-pound tiger's head in your lap. Having the full tiger experience here costs $140. You guys want the special? Yeah. Big money in Thailand, but the high prices and safety risks aren't stopping hundreds of tourists coming here each day. The tigers are beautiful. It's a really nice setting. You get what you pay for. The temple calls itself a wildlife sanctuary and says it promotes the conservation and suitable breeding of tigers and aims to return them to the wild. But animal rights groups say these animals, most born in captivity, would never survive fending for themselves. Conservationist Edwin Week is taking the Tiger Temple on in the courts after it brought defamation charges against him. He says the tigers are hybrids, or crosses between different species, and of little conservation value because they would pollute the evolutionary gene pool. They can't be released back to the wild ever, and so for that reason claiming that wildlife conservation is served by this project makes no sense at all. That the animals are so placid is for many critics proof they're drugged. The temple denies this, saying the animals are used to human contact and only brought out for photos in the heat of the day when they're at their most sleepy. But NGO Care for the Wild International carried out a two-year investigation into the temple. It says it found evidence of severe animal welfare problems and unlicensed cross-border movements of tigers. They were beaten with wooden sticks, they'd be punched in the head, the tails would be pulled. Um, all to make them, you know, perform in a certain way which would make them visually appealing to the tourists. Another huge concern of Care for the Wild International is the illegal trafficking of tigers. We found evidence that the Tiger Temple is involved with illegal tiger trafficking with a tiger farm in Laos. What about the allegations of abuse? Tomorrow. And, Tomorrow. and torture? To tomorrow, 40 days, everything, if it needs to be closed. The Tiger Temple declined repeated requests for an interview and refused to comment on any of the allegations. Thailand's Tourism Authority says its position is neutral. It will give directions to the site if asked, but doesn't promote it. Not that the temple needs much promotion. While tourists keep coming in their droves, the tigers will continue living as photo props.